It's morning already. Wake up and prepare for school. See, it's morning. Good morning. So, let us prepare for school. You're sleeping again? Ada, I'll pour you water now. Pour you water. But you're not hot. Or is it another excuse this morning? You don't want to go to school. That's what you're trying to say. Hmm? Papa, I think I have fever. Hmm. I didn't want to bother you. Hmm. Thank you for not bothering me. I had medicine. I'll go and get the medicine. Once you take it, the fever will disappear. I don't know what to do. sick. Why did you wake up? I'll catch you. Next time it's hot water I'll pour you. Next time, hot water. Hi. This girl is too smart. I'll catch you. Continue. I'll catch you. Begin to study the way you sleep. That day you begin to succeed. to see what was chasing you. I was dreaming about a rat chasing me. The rat was chasing you? Hey! You never cease to amaze me. The only thing that was chasing you is sleep. Ora! You know, enter my dream, it comes to pass. I need to go back to sleep. I'll go to school tomorrow. Mm. Why? In case the rat comes, 
He won't see me. <laughs> hey! Adamaya! I give you 10 minutes to take your water, go and get ready for school. 10 minutes! To buy biscuit and popcorn. My friends buy that every day when they get school. Go tell your mommy to do the food from the kitchen. She'll prepare the food. What? Papa, I cannot take Fufu to school. My friends will be laughing at me. Oh. I'm supposed to be taking all the longer short food. You know now. Mm -hmm. Noodles, yeah. egg, yeah. meat, mm -hmm. macaroni, exactly. spaghetti, oh. you know all of them. I know. Hey, Anna, just clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. You still just don't want to go to school today. But let me advise you. If you go late to school, <laughs> then that food you just mentioned, you must sit to eat at night. So it's either you rush up now to school or forget about your night food. Go to school to pour your water! No! Where are you people going to? Oh. Why? Textbooks. We have not bought our textbooks uh, and these two are not properly dressed, so they sent us home. Really? That's good news. What's good about it? At least we can go home and sleep. We can even play the whole day. Why don't you at least try? The head teacher might let you in. If the head teacher sent you people home, then she will also send me home. Me, I don't even have these textbooks. So, bye bye. Uh, Why are you coming back this early? Papa, our teacher sent us home because of textbooks. Because of textbooks? Yes, Papa. Why are you home early? Answer me. Why are you home this early? Te textbooks. Yes. What? The teacher sent us home because of textbooks. I told your teacher not to send you back home. No, my, I told her teacher not to send her back home, no matter what. Oh, Mama, you see, the head teacher did not listen to your instruction. Don't worry, Mama. When I get to school tomorrow, I'll remind you. No, 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 no. Not tomorrow. We are going back to that school now. I said we are going back to that school now. I don't trust you. You are not talking. You started lying again. Come here. Come. You are not talking. Don't always lie. Please, please. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me, madam. Please, I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. Uh, madam, I remember I pleaded with you that you should not send my daughter home, no matter what. If there's any situation, any need, just let me know. I will always pay. Why did you send her back? Me? Yes. Excuse me. I did not send her back home. I haven't set my eyes on her. Even today, that did not come to school. <laughs> and that did you see me today? She's asking you. Because I can't remember sending her home. Did I send you home? I'm sorry, sir. She lied to you. Hey! Ada! So you did not come to school today and opened your mouth and lied to me. 
Papa, I'm sorry. I didn't have the textbooks too. I thought she's going to send me home. That's why I left. You said thought. That you thought. Just thought. Not that she asked you to go. Oh. Oh. Imagine. I remember I sent few people home. But not you. I know your father very, very well. And I know your father used to try concerning your education. Uh. Eh? Why are you stressing your parents at that? Why? Oh. oh. Madam, please, I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm ashamed of myself. I, I, I don't know. Coming here to bother you, I just, I, I'm ashamed. Please, please, forgive. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. This cross is too much for me to bear. Eh? Why would God give me this girl as a daughter? What kind of punishment? But it's okay, Madam. It's, it's okay. Please, help me. How much is the money so that I can pay? Let mm, her go to, to her class after you come to my office. Go back to your class immediately. Go to the class. Sure. Come here. Where are you just coming from? Come here. Have you done your assignment? Come here. Come here. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. It's not a question of being sorry. I asked you a question. Have you done your assignment today? That is the question. Papa, no. You pay my school fees. Yet they cheat you. Hey. I pay your school fees. Yet they cheat me. I'm the one who is paying the school fees. How does it concern you? I just care. How? Papa. They gave me homework to do all by myself. And the money you gave them, they kept it and it's not fair. The teachers give you homework to teach yourself. The money I pay them, they keep it. I'm the one who is making the money. I am the one who is paying them. So how does it concern you? Listen, you stubborn girl, listen. Any day you fail to do your assignment in this house, one, I'll punish you. Two, I'll beat you. Three, you will not eat food in this house. Do you understand me? Assignments are meant to keep you busy at home, not to walk and play up and down the environment. And yet you cannot settle down to do simple assignments. Papa, it's too much and it's boring. Why well, I spend the whole day learning at school, yet my teacher does not allow me to play? Remember, all work without play makes Papa. Eh? I die a dog girl. So you wanted to say, Papa, a dog man? Is that? Eh? Let's go and play. Mm -hmm. Better now homework. Come. Stop. Why don't you want to play with me? Well, we don't want to play with you because we have to study to become great. Really? Well, I don't need to study because if my parents are rich, I'll surely be a rich kid. But my parents are poor, so there's no hope for me. So what does that mean? It means that my parents have already chosen a future for me by being poor. So, poor shall we remain, see? Your parents are living their own lives. Can't you change your own? And I don't believe you. You can be rich, even when your parents are poor. So, what are you saying? <laughs> you girls have been deceived. I know you have big dreams of becoming a lawyer, a doctor, and even a governor, but... I'm going to be... If you want to play, you can come. Play now. What are you doing? Some common grass. Grass. See grass. See grass. See grass. See grass. See grass. See grass. You don't know what you're doing. I beg, get out. Please, yeah. Okay. Bring out your homework and submit. Pass your homework. Submit, submit. Bring it out. Pass. Pass. Bring it out. I may believe everybody. Okay. Yes, very good. Let me see yours. Good. 
Ada wih so homework. My family is so homework. I'm just talking and sitting down. Ma, I didn't do it. Oh, really? And you have the guts to tell me that? Why? Ma, mother gave me a lot of house chores, so I was very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, what is the meaning of that? Ma, you can give me another homework. I'll do all of them. I will never get tired of complaining. Give me more. I'll make sure I pile up all the homework and I will not do anyone. Waste your time if you have any. Just go outside and leave them. I said out! Go out! Pleasure is mine. I just told you the truth and you want to punish me. Then, go ahead. I say you should go out. What is wrong with you? Who's not in our room? Ada. Uh, why are you expecting her in our room? She should be in school and it's not closing time, so okay. She didn't go to school today. Why? She had fever. And I went to check up on her. Oh. She was, I met her shivering in her room. So you still allow this your daughter to trick you? Eh? Huh? She did not trick me. I said I saw her shivering. <laughs> I met her on her bed shivering. I even covered her body with extra wrap. <laughs> so where is she now? Your sim daughter? I don't know. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> Maybe she's at the backside playing, so go and look for her. <laughs> you still believe this is your daughter? Huh? Are you saying there's nothing wrong with that girl? 
No, I'm not saying anything. No. <laughs> she's sick. She's inside. Or maybe she's at the back side looking for her. She's not a doctor. <laughs> Every time she keeps deceiving you, eh? Deceiving you, and you believe her, eh? Very naughty girl, naughty girl, naughty girl, naughty girl. girl. Nonsense. time this morning. Just come and wash these plates. Now. Please. Where is it for you? Show me here. And where else? Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. My friend, come on, go and wash these plates. You think you'll fool me today? <laughs> I am ready for you, what time? Eh? Look at me. It's my fault I have lied too much. Now nobody believes what I say. What did you say? Nothing. What can I just say? I don't know. You're my only child, and I'm your mother. I want to talk to you as your mother. I don't like the way you behave. Yes, I don't like the way you behave at all. Your behavior, your 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 attitude, is bringing shame to your father and I, this whole community. <sighs> Why is it that you cannot change your ways? Why must we keep talking about you, talking to you all the time? Mama, you are jealous of me. That's why they speak harshly. But you're not so. Who is jealous of you? Meanwhile, you're the one offending people. Well, I won't argue with you. But I'm trying to see if I can change. You try and see whether you can change. So think about this opportunity. Tell me. Ah, so much. Yes, your daughter is not going to school. Let me go. Yeah. Call her. Let her go to school. Adana. Oh, she sick. Ada? Oh, yeah. Come out and start getting ready for school. Oh, good. What is it? I understand. 
the way she's jumping up and down. I've never seen her this move before. Okay. Papa, Mama, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> this girl is up to something. This one's like she's jumping up and down and going to school without complaining. Ah, something is wrong. I just spoke to your daughter with love, hoping hmm? that she will change. You spoke with her, uh, with her yes, uh, with the love, yes, hoping she will change. Yes, eh. Uh, mm. Inflicted Kunundu. What a pseudo dissipation of adenosine triphosphate. How could a young and promising Homo sapiens as you continue to deploy your psychosomatic cum cerebral firepower in this absurdity? I would have walked away like every other unconcerned citizen, but as an illustrious son of Umwato Autonomous Community. Now, let me advise you. Delete from your brain any form of phobia you have for education and ensure that you stoop to conquer every phobia in education in order to make this community and your family proud at large. Because you may think your family has funds to give you. They may have millions to give you, but it shall all finish one day. The only thing you have as a lasting legacy in your cerebral cortex is education. Nonsensical. From bad to good, and no. I think you should give her a chance. I don't see that in Give her a chance. I'll give her a chance from bad to worse. No problem. I'll give her a chance. Except Is from there? bad to good. Up to now, I don't understand your daughter. When I told you I don't trust this your daughter, you never believe me. Look at her, she's back. See her clothes. It's not possible. <laughs> Unless something happened. Oh, I'm not going. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What happened? A car was coming and it's bad poto poto me. And when I got to school, the head teacher sent me off. Sorry. You wash your dress. Tomorrow, you go to school. No, Mama. I want to go to school today. No. You just wait, wash your clothes, and go to school. Drama queen, drama queen, clap for yourself. When you're done acting to drama, then answer my question. Did the car owner come down for his car to rub mud on your body, your clothes, or did you say splash? Why are you asking all these questions? She said splash. Is that what she said? Look at her clothes. You see that she rubbed her mud on her clothes. 
and the self-fabricating story for you to believe. For me, I will not believe because I know this thing is not splash. She did it herself. But she doesn't want to go to school. That why, is the why drama. are you so suspicious of this girl? Why? This is our daughter. Yes, she has some lapses. But that doesn't mean we will not take whatever she says. Or will disregard whatever she says. This girl woke up this morning all happy. She wanted to go to school. And now this has happened. I don't understand you. Well, since you don't want to believe me, that this thing you're seeing is an intentional act by your daughter. I know it. If you don't want to believe me, I will excuse myself because if, 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 if I allow myself, you can always deceive your mother, not me. I am smarter and more intelligent than you. You can't deceive me. I'm so So tell me, what are you thinking in your mind? Maybe that I must naive as your mother, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mama, in your mind you're smart. Very smart. <laughs> but I don't know what you're talking about. No, you will not know what I'm talking about. But sooner than later you know. When you and your mates are all grown and they're swimming in money and you go begging on the street or going to them to beg them for money and they bluff you. Then you understand what I'm saying. Mm, okay. What did you say? Nothing. No, I didn't say anything. Better you didn't say anything. Let me tell you. Listen. Any child that refuses to embrace education will one day regret his or her life and be ashamed of herself. I'm talking to you because you're my daughter and your father. I don't want you to be ashamed of yourself. I don't want you to regret your life. Is Papa serious? Will I truly be ashamed one day? That is a fact. I don't want you to regret. Enjoy your food. Eat and be happy. No giraffing, no cheating, no talking. If you have any question, you raise up your hand and you ask me and I'll answer you. Don't talk to anybody. No cheating. Question. Oh, no. oh, I will feel this time again. Why was I even carried away by those kids playing outside? Now exam is over and no teacher will give me any time to write again. Of the exam. 
So we are free to go home. Okay? See you. Bye, to brain. Yes. Come. Hey, you, Ada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Come. Hurry, 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 hurry. Take this hundred naira. Hmm? Go to the nearby shop and get me a detergent. As you can see, I need to do some laundry. Were you talking to me? No, I was talking to the tables. In fact, I was talking to this bench because they can hear me. It's just the two of us here. How dare you think otherwise? Well, my dear, I'm talking to you. Take this hundred naira and get me detergent. Take. Okay, I'll cook. Ada is a good girl. Mm, she had better be. Children of Malice. Ah. Mm, bravo. Gracias, gracias. Let me have them. No, no, let me have them. Oh no, Uncle. Let me just leave it here. When I'm gone, you can see it. Why? It's a surprise. Hmm. See for yourself. Let's do this. Use my hundred Nigerian Nera to buy for myself a pack of sand. Could this have escaped standard organization of Nigeria? No, 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 no. Ada! I'm... How could a young female juvenile be so delinquent? How could a young Girl, be so mischievous. No. How could I have fallen victim to a young, delinquent child? Ada, I will make sure I prove to you that your mischief in this village is not just a step too far, but it's not going to take you anywhere. Ada? Ada? Why did you leave the class when the teacher walked in? I don't like him. Why? Because he's the math teacher. But you have to sit for his exam soon, too. I know. But he's a math teacher. He looks intimidating. Ah, da. He's a math teacher, and they're like that. <laughs> What is that? This one. My report card. You don't remember what I told you? Yes, Papa. But if you fail this time around, I will no longer pay your fees and you stay at home. No more school. I hope you remember. Yes, I remember. You do, thanks. Papa, the teacher did not give me enough time to answer all my questions. <laughs> The teacher did not give you enough chance. Did the teacher give other students enough chance to write? Yes. Why did the teacher not give you enough chance? Because they don't like me. Did they like other students? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you don't know. That means you're doing something wrong. Something the teacher doesn't like. Did it pass? 
<clears throat> your silence, and from what you're saying now, you failed. Is it not? Yes. Get out of my side! Come, get out of my side! What nonsense! I can't continue paying her fees for God's sake. I am tired. Why are you so moody? I'm not happy. What is it? I've made a decision. I will no longer continue paying fees for a child whose performance is not encouraging. Never. I won't do that again. Do you think that's the best thing to do? Hmm. Don't you think it's better to encourage her? I have encouraged her enough. And I discovered that she's not interested to learn. She doesn't want to go to school. So there's no point wasting money. Wasting money on her? No. That I will never, never do again. Don't you think living at home will worsen the whole situation? <laughs> because she will play more. She'll become more irresponsible. She'll become more stubborn. Why don't we leave her in school? At least she will learn and copy from her peers, those ones who are well behaved. Uh, 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 uh. I don't agree. That means you don't know Ada. Ada, your daughter, no, I don't know. Ada is not the type to copy from anybody. Rather, she will insert her bad behavior into the innocent ones. That is Ada for you. Seems you have made your decision. But if you insist, I won't pay her fees. I will pay her fees. Oh, good. <laughs> That's fine. Beautiful. In that case, I insist you take her along with you to your parents' home and stay with her there and pay her fees. Not in my house. No, 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 no. It won't happen in my house. Are you asking me to pack out of your house? If you don't want to abide by my decision, then what do you expect me to do? What? Nonsense. Ada is our only child. I know. So? Why are you taking this harsh stand? Why? I'm asking you. Who even spoiled Ada in the first place? Yes! Who? I'll ask her to do house chores. You say no. Go to the stream, no. Follow us to the farm, no. All you want to do is for her to rest and play. Now we have gotten to this point. And that is thoroughly spoiled. While they wear her time and not even walk towards her future. No, if you say I don't want her to have a future. I walk towards a good future, no. Then you're not fair to me. I want her dad to have a very beautiful, bright future. <laughs> but I don't want to remember the history of our misfortunes. After the death of our first child and the series of miscarriages and deaths, When eventually Ada came along to wipe away our tears, our tears from the shame and embarrassment from family members, friends and neighbors, I was so happy, so happy and thankful God. I needed her to be alive, I wanted to give her the best of everything. Oh, my fault. But today I regret every good thing I planned for her or went because she doesn't want to go to school. She doesn't want to do anything. Is it bad for a father to show love to a child? To pamper a child to good health? Pamper a child to good behavior? 
pamper a child to know that she is cherished. But at that broke my heart. And that drained the happiness, the joy I've ever enjoyed as a man. Is it not better she dies? And let me be. Let me live my life. Why would God punish me with such a child? She has become a punishment. She has become a curse to me. In fact, I dash her to you. Take her to your parents' house. Take her. I will never ask after her. Ask after you. Both of you should in fact go. Let me have my peace. I'm tired. I am I am bleeding. Why will I that be why will I that punish me this much? What have I done wrong? Nonsense. You are reading. Good. Ada, you will no longer go to school. No longer attend school. You will stay at home and read your book. Since you now know how to read, very good. Because I don't have money to waste on your fees anymore. Paying your fees is like throwing money away. I can't afford it anymore. So you'll be at home. Please, mom. Let's talk about this thing some more. Pico, no. Hmm? What will she be doing if she stays home? You are worried. You are worried. Oh, she's happy. She's excited that she's going to stay at home. So why are you worried? Alda is a very busy girl. She has a lot of work to do. So let her get busy. At home. Yes. Mama, Papa might be right. I have a lot of work to do, like. And then I'm sweeping, and then washing. Uh, reading your book? Uh -huh, thank you. Reading. Uh, exactly. <laughs> she can read her books. But I know you are not good at anything. The only thing you know how to do is sleep. Play, eat food, 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 food all the time. Is it not? What is that? I'm talking, you are laughing. You are laughing. Eh? This girl, this girl, this girl. This, I don't, what, 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 what kind of punishment is this? I can no grid down for fire. Oh, eat it before you don't know. Ah, I'm around with you. Mm -hmm. Mama, school resumed last week and I haven't seen you. Why? Well, I came to remind you that we are going to write our common entrance exam in two months. We are not coming to school again. My father has refused to pay for my school fees and he has given me holiday. No one will wake me up or even cut my sleep. And no one will control the way I pee. Come on, let's go. That wait first. Are you even happy about that? Yes, why not? So, Ada, how will you then become a doctor? I never said I want to become a doctor. I never said that. Then how will you become whatever you want to be in the future? I want. I will not change. I will be Ada. I will remain Ada. Bam. Are you happy if you're being called a dollar? Wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to insult me? No, I'm not trying to insult you. Better. I'm only trying to say that I need to find a better and intelligent friend. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Amara! No. Did I hear you saying, Kim? I don't want my friend to be friends with Tinkemo. I don't want to lose you. Only you just stay at home. If you want to leave, you can leave, bro. but I don't want you to be friends with Tinkem. I need to find a friend who will help me join my exams. Or will you? Will you?
just coming back from your house. Amara. Uh, I I'm still angry with me. What is it again, nah? What does it look like? I wasn't talking to you. Shut up, you empty brain. What? Kim, do you think you are better than me? Yes, I'm better than you. Even if she's not, she's not like those who left school because they couldn't cope. Oh. All right, can we can go if I don't take into this thing. Wait, did you just call me? Does the truth hurt? I stopped school because I wanted to reduce the pain of waking up early and seeing the faces of those annoying teachers. Well, we have no problem with waking up early or seeing the faces of those annoying teachers. The truth is that she can't understand a thing we are taught in class. She's too dull to understand. Nkem? Hey! I bet let's go. Nkem? Nkem? None of those kids have respect for me. Do they think they are better than me? No. I can't let you win, Unke. I will show you. How are you, Ada? Fine, sir. Move, move. Oh, see. <clears throat> I want to ask you a very important question concerning what happened yesterday. Why did you do what you did yesterday? What did I do, sir? You fetched water for me. Oh, that I remember. How could I forget? Look over there. You see, the water is still there. I did not use it. Lest something dangerous happened to me. Because a girl like you could have put something dangerous, something deleterious, even insipid or colorless inside it, so that when I take my bath with it, I'll become dysfunctional. The water is there. safe. Uncle, I need something from you. Bingo! <laughs> mm, because I know that a mischievous girl like you will never do anything free. Mm. So it's not free after all. At least you have come out clean. So what do you want? Uncle Chibuzo, I want you to teach me all that I need to know to pass my common entrance exams. Okay. In return, I'll be doing all your house chores and run your errands. Your girl. You want me to teach you all that you need to learn in order to pass your common entrance exam. Mm, while that is a good ambition, hmm? take a look at this building. There's still a bigger farmland behind. My father inherited these properties from his grandfather. As kids, we found it difficult to do all the chores and run errands. Now you are telling me you want to do all these and still learn. Well, 
not to discourage you. Hmm? I think it's a truce. I cease fire. I mean, we now have a deal. Oh. I agree. So, when do you want this memorandum of understanding to be activated? Tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> the taste of the pudding is in the eating. Tomorrow is a good day. <laughs> something you tell me something okay. which one are you standing looking at me tell me what you want to tell me or you want me to start guessing what you want to say or what papa let's go back to school Go back to school. Yes, I didn't say anything because I have nothing to say. Now listen, I don't have time to discuss anything with you. You understand me? Now hold your two ears. Hold your two ears! Let this be the first and the last time you will ever come here to discuss any such nonsense with me. Hey, shut up! Take you come and do it behaving how you like. Then I need to write. Go on some more. Any how you like. See, go and want that daughter to take care of her mouth. <coughs> Tell her to take care of her mouth. Or else I'll do something that everybody will regret in this family. Tell what her. Is it? What is it now? Eh? Hi. Why is it that a father and daughter cannot get along? They cannot have a good relationship. Eh? Ada? Ada Naya? What did you say to your father that made him leave the house like that? Mama wants to go back to school. Eh? <laughs> hey, you want to go back to school? Are you okay? Eh? Where do you think we'll get the money to be wasting on you? You don't want to be sleeping anymore. Or playing. You don't want to go back to school. You on your own decided that you don't want education anymore. You've lost your opportunity now. <laughs> so stay at home. Mama, please give my mother a chance. <laughs> I don't feel you. You don't want to be sleeping anymore. You don't want to be eating. I promise to you make don't want... you proud. Mama, I'm your dad. Uh -huh. If you are your father is angry. He's very, very angry with you. So, I don't know what you want me to say. No. Papa will listen to you, Mama. You are Mama, Ada. Please, help me talk to you, please. <sighs> okay. But you have to tell me. Why you suddenly want to go back to school? Because your father is angry. This banana is not so. It's not so sick banana. Something so. You know where I bought the last one from? Mm. It wasn't there at the market. Good morning. Mm. It wasn't there. This one is not. 
I'll test them. It's just that it's always very tasty. You know? But this one is like a... That was a very calm banana. <laughs> no, banana is banana. Oh. Why don't you? Why don't you? But I'm going to the farm. The farm? Farm. Who sent you? I don't need to be told to do the right thing anymore. But this is not the right thing because the sun is up. Right time. And it's hot, so. The sun doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. What is this one? I don't understand. Give me my cutlass. Let me go and know what is she's talking about. This girl will never stop surprising me. Step out to see everyone that ain't against me. Oh, yeah. And I realize not who I should be. And I realize I run them wrong. She said, Oh, no. Can you imagine? What did you feel like that? Now she walk in alone like this time. What did you feel that? I did not feel anything. I did not feel anything. Child. I think both of you are playing tricks on me. Tell me, what is the game plan? What are you planning? What are you planning with your daughter? Planning, planning. Yes, what are you planning? You're always suspecting. Planning, planning, planning. Is it not possible for someone to change? Your daughter came on her own to the farm. Is it not possible? It's not possible to for her to change. Why? To come to the farm all alone and to be working since no. It's mm -hmm. not possible. You, you have See? to understand. Look, you have to accept that the only thing that is constant in life is change. Change. For her to change. Oh, something must have happened. Something must have prompted this decision. Thing. And it's a good thing. It's not a good thing. I suspect her. I suspect this. Ada is too crafty. Too intelligent, too smart. She stopped to something. Go, 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 go and meet her. Go and meet her. I don't want her to see me. You did all these things yourself. Yes, Mama. Hey, did you come with water to drink? No, Mama. Hi. 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 This is nice. I'm sure your father will be happy. Are you happy? I had her breakfast and that was all. Hey God, I thank you. My daughter has changed. Don't be deceived. She's only acting. I know her. Don't forget what she's doing very soon. She'll be tired and her reason will come out. Don't mind her. Nay, you're a father, not a gangster. You should know when a child tries to make amends. Hmm? And then if you should allow that means bring peace in your heart enough for you to trust that. Baba, make amends. You give me peace. Don't mind, she's only acting. She can always deceive you. But she can't deceive me. Because I'm wiser than both of you. Oh. She can't fool me. Just watch her. She's playing at something. Very soon discover what. <laughs> this one. 
She's crafty, intelligent in a very crude way. So, she is your daughter, and I, and I don't think what you're saying is entirely true. I think my daughter is changing, and I accept it that she's changing. Why don't you get some rest? I'll soon be through. So you have been working. You're working hard. Your mother feels you have been doing all the house chores since, since last year. <laughs> this girl is an actor. Don't worry. Very soon her game plan will manifest. But I'll watch her. I'm waiting. The moment she plays this one, I'll watch her. Tries this one and says, stop. That I just catch her. Why are you so difficult? How? No, and everybody... you cannot be pleased. You can please me. Anybody can please you, not Ada. I know Ada. Not Ada. Why not Ada? She's going back. Yes. That is your daughter. Since morning. Of course, she's still going. You catch her. You catch her. That man is very funny. <laughs> hey. Mama came. Good afternoon. Papa came. Good afternoon. <laughs> Did you hear that? Or uh, does it imply I'm the only person that had it? Oh, I even thought I was the only person that had it. Ada greeted us. When did she start greeting people in this community? <laughs> Papa, Mama, I'm a changed person now. I'm sorry for the past I never greeted you. Yeah? Papa. Papa. Mama. Mama. <laughs> well, no matter what, you are not better than my Inkem. Exactly. I never said I'm better than Inkem. All I did was to greet. Are you sure she's not up to something? Here come the changed girl. Congratulations. Shit me now. Congratulations. Congratulations on on your turning points. Thanks. Why did you change? Answer. No reason. Why did you shake me? No reason. Ask me. I am surprised that the great Ada, like the great Ada of this village, is now greeting people around and doing chores in her house. Hmm. Yes, that is what makes me great. But know this, you are not a competition to me. Me and Kem, you are not a competition to me at all. You know I don't like talking. You know that I don't like talking at all. But we shall see. But we shall see, Kem. How will she be a competition to us when she's no longer in school? Thank you. It doesn't matter where I am. Yay! Hi, Mama. I'm back. You're nice. Hi. <laughs> You're welcome. How was it? I'm fine. What is it? Nay, about this other issue, don't you think it's an opportunity to see whether it will work or not? At least she on her own came. Nobody forced her. I'll tell you. I'll see what I can do. Think about it. At least it will be a favor to me, not only to Ada. I'll think about it. 
Oh, that's for the nails. You see, um, all of this wouldn't have been necessary except for the proper inculcation of discipline, the lesson of obedience and understanding thoroughly the importance of dignity of labor. Do you understand? Are you ready to learn? I'm eager to learn. Good. One more thing. When I'm talking, look at me. Do you understand? Good. I'll be back in a moment. Look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you before writing. Prime numbers is some basic logic. See, if I say I'm not suspicious of all these activities, then I'm lying. But I want to give you a chance. Thank you, Papa. I promise I'll not disappoint you. Ah, 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 ah. It's not a question of promise. Before you start promising, I want you to note that this favor that I'm about to render to you is not for free. Do you understand me? Uh -uh. It's not free. Uh -uh. She has to pay for it. Yes, she has to pay for it. It's not free. She has to pay for it. Papa, you know I don't have any money to pay for it. Exactly. She doesn't have any money. So how will she pay? Good. I'll tell her how she'll pay. Now, she must abide by every condition laid down in this family from today. What are those conditions? Oh, beautiful. The conditions are simple. One, she, this stubborn girl, and that will continue to do every house chores just the way she has been doing it. Secondly, she has to join us to the farm. Anytime we are going to the farm, she will join us to farm. Thirdly, uh, maybe trying to help you, help her. She has to get a coin saving box for coins. Then I'll place her on a salary of the equivalent of 200 naira. Okay? Mm -hmm. She'll be saving it in that uh, coin saving box. When it's time to buy the phone, mm. she'll use this, she'll break the coin box, mm. pour out the coins, count it. Mm -hmm. Whatever she has in the coin box, mm. if it's not complete, I will ask something, maybe as salary bonus to complete it so that she will go and buy the phone and take her exam. But these tasks are too much. It's not a question of being too much. She has to work to earn the money to buy the phone. Prior to this time, when she comes to come money, give her to buy phone to pay her fees, she will go and waste the money, play away her time, 
This time it's not like that. She has to work to earn money, use the money to buy her form. So let her be the one that worked for it, not that she has money anymore. Do you understand me? So your task starts now, this moment. You start now to earn your salary. So good luck as you perform your task. I have to prove myself to Amara and then Kim. Mama, don't worry. I'll do it. If Papa says I should do a task to earn my fees, then I'll do whatever I want. It's not if Papa says, Papa has said. So, your task starts now. And I wish you good luck. Papa, thank you. Don't thank me. Just go inside and do what you're supposed to do. Man. Yes. This is what you don't understand. It's not a question of being a daughter. Your daughter, my daughter, our daughter. Let her be useful to herself. I don't want her to waste her life. Let her be useful for once. I agree. If she says she can do it, let her do it. Good hey. morning, Ma. Morning. Where are you going? School. School. Which school? You forgotten that I go to the same school with them, Kemi. Hey, hey! So it is true that you have returned back to school after a very long time. Yes, it is. Now you've heard it from the princess's mouth. pataka. Eh? It is not princess's mouth. It is called horse's mouth. Inanya, Mama. Don't you know I'm a princess? Why should I say horse's mouth? It's your cool. Eh, Mama, I have to go to school. Hey, Mama, hey. Yeah. Ah, you see? My dear, I hope all is well. All is well. There's no problem. Hey. Uh, just like you said that I have not visited in a Chai. while. I said, let me just come and see. Chai, you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you Papa so Nke much. Nke. Papa Nke is fine. Uh, he went to see his brother. Uh, but he will be back before evening. Okay. Hmm. Okay. No. Oh, my dear. <laughs> hey. I hope you stay and eat. I'm just uh, trying to muscle up something. Ah, don't worry, don't bother yourself. Well, I just finished eating before coming. Chai. Yeah, chai. Um, I just said, let me come and see you and discuss something with you. I am. Mm. What is it? I bumped into Ada on her way back to school. Ada won. Yeah, she's going to school again. Ada on her own decided to go back to school. Is you more than you the Nobody forced her. As I am talking with you, mm. Mm. is sitting for common entrance. Is you hi, hi. <laughs> I I don't understand. Do you, do you actually realize what you're doing? How? Eh? Hasn't Ada stressed you enough? How can you be spending so much money on her eh? when she's not interested in education at all? My dear, is it not better you take her to where she will learn a trade instead of all this money you're spending on her? In a two full What do you You have a point. Mm -hmm. You have a point there. Yeah. But for now, we will support her as her parents. Is no good. Yes. Oh, no problem. If you say so. Uh, I just felt you, know, you people are spending so much money, but it's okay. And let me come and go, eh? Uh, I was going somewhere before I decided to come here. Yeah. You are down it's, from my Oh, my dear. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't blame you. It is hard I blame. Mm. 
Don't feel sad. I overheard your conversation with Mama and Kim. No, I don't like what that woman said. Can you imagine? Mama and Kim came all the way from her house to remind me that my daughter is a stubborn child. It is not her fault. It's your daughter's fault. Adam made everybody believe that they can walk into the family and say whatever they want to say at any time they want to say it. It's very unfortunate. But then, I must sound a note of warning here. If father fails in this exam, that will be the last of her with education. Even the trade my man came suggested, I will personally make sure she will not have such opportunity. So, you see, in summary, you see, it is the inhibition of the DNA gyrus that eventually leads to the bacteriostatic function of most quinolones. That is, when the DNA gyrus is inhibited, the bacteria will not be able to replicate the cell. Hence, the cell that dies. Do you understand? You mean you don't understand that it is the inhibition of the DNA gyrus that leads to the bacteriostatic function of most quinolones and eventual cell death of the bacteria? Because, you see, when the DNA gyrus is inhibited, the bacteria cannot replicate. Ada. Okay. Now, you know what we're going to do? Hmm? You need to now take home studies seriously. Hmm? You go home and begin to read your books. Hmm? That way, you read ahead of the curriculum. Hmm? And then when you have any questions, you bring them with them. Do you understand? Okay. Uh, I, I'll be serious. Yes, you'll be serious with home studies. Okay? Don't worry, you'll pass. Go, go, go. is a Herculean tax for a knight in shiny armor to play a pond in Brooklyn. When is your event starting? Next week. This coming week? So how are you preparing? I'm not preparing for anything. You have exam next week and you're not preparing. So you're not reading nothing. No, Papa. I'll wait till the time comes, then I'll go. I'll relax. So you won't read, you won't prepare, nothing. You just wait. When they stand for the exam, you go and write and fail as usual. What's wrong with you? Why won't you write to, to pass the exam and to impress me? Eh? No, Papa. I'll go there. Answer all the questions and bring my results. It's not a question of answering all the questions. You can answer all the questions and yet fail. Don't you understand? So you have to prepare yourself, read your book, morning, afternoon, night. Papa, I've never repeated any class. Let go again. I don't even understand me. They have not repeated any class because they have refused to make you repeat the class. I don't know what is wrong with you. See, I am a very intelligent man. And I'm your father. I don't understand why you don't want to be as intelligent as I am. 
<laughs> Look at this, you are laughing at your father. Papa, you are intelligent. Very intelligent. Go and ask all the elders in this community. They respect me. Once I say anything, they see wisdom. I'm very intelligent, very smart. But I don't understand you. Why won't you write pass exam to impress me? What's your problem? Huh? Now I'm going to read your book. I wake up every morning from the wrong side of my bed. I step out and see everyone that ain't against me. Oh, yeah. And I realize I'm not who I should be. And I realize I wronged everyone. And I realize I'm not who I should be. Maybe we'll try to get along. And I realize I'm not who I should be. And I realize I wronged everyone. And I realize I'm not who I should be. What is this? This is what some students do to stay awake. Mm. Why don't you get some rest and continue tomorrow? Hmm? Really? Yes, ma'am. You know that if you stress your brain too much, mm -hmm. You may lose the little you'll be able to get. Oh, mm -hmm. See? Just rest. Oh? Okay, Mama. Move your legs. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Good. <laughs> you have to choose the correctly spelled word to complete the sentence or sentences on your answer sheets. Okay? Now, how do you use your leisure time? Which of the options correctly spelled leisure? C. Correct. Now spell leisure. Leisure. L E I S U R E. Correct. Leisure. High five. Good. Now, next one. I have to be faster this time. Question two Dash mother told them not to leave the house. Their mother told them not to leave the house. Which of the options correctly spells their? Option A. No. One more chance and you will be... Option B. 
Section C. Correct. Spell. T H E I R. Correct. Another high five. Now, the final question. Hmm. I'm sure you've been to the river before. The road runs dash to the river. The road runs parallel to the river. Which of the options best describes or best or correctly spells parallel? Option B. Correct. Good. Spell parallel. What is she doing here? I guess she came to draw her head and leave her shoes on. Well, I'm not here to fight with you. Be patient until our common entrance exam is over. Then you know who came to draw his or her head. Hey! I challenge you. Don't worry. We will wait. Thank you for the Rest of us. Good. Now you have to pay close attention. We shall be talking about quantitative aptitude. Quantitative aptitude. Good. In this quantitative aptitude, we shall be taking a look at prime numbers. Prime numbers. What are prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors. One and it itself. One and what? Itself. Good. Example, we have two, two three, five, seven, seven. 11, 13, 17, 21, 19. 19. Yes, 19 is only divisible by 1 and itself without a remainder. Good. So, quickly, let's take this final question. What number, answer, right? What number will you add to 11 to give you 7 times 5? This is what's problem leading to mathematical expression. If you understand the question, you translate it into an expression mathematically and solve. So what number will you add to 11 to give you 7 times 5? Fast. Of course, let the unknown be S. So find S. I don't want to fight with you anymore. Okay. Just that. Just like that. Yes. Amara and Bim came to think by stalking me, they will know my secret. Or oh, you're for them. Yes! Brilliant idea. I will use the window. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go, go, go. It's late, it's late. Hmm? Thank you very much.
Why are you looking at me? Go to your house. Oh yeah, your two left legs. Bend them and go to your house. have been stalking me. You don't mean it. What do they want? When I got home yesterday, mm -hmm. I met them at the corner of our compound, sleeping. <laughs> Were they drunk? What sort of mistake is that? Sleeping in a lion's bed. <laughs> and what did you do? I almost emptied the bucket of water on them, but on a second thought, I remembered your advice. Correct. Fantastic. Excellent. Call for yourself. You know why? It means you are truly changed. You see, we don't want to do anything that would attract attention. Right? Let's keep your success a surprise. When your result comes out, <laughs> they will know the differences hmm? between cockroaches and butterflies. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. See you when I see you. Good, 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 good. Now, Ada, having solved effectively and correctly those questions, it means you are now ready for the exams. But my worry now is my guru is worried. She's not happy. What is the challenge? What is the problem? Kuchubuza, I need you to advise me before I before I do something, someone will regret in this village. Hold it. <laughs> you shall do no such thing. Besides, what's going on? They are trying to bring back the old Ada. No, 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 no. Uh, the old Ada is gone and gone for good. Who are this day, for God's sake? What is it? It is Amara and Inkem. It is Amara and Inkem. <laughs> you mean that same duo of Amara and Inkem? The ones that want you to fail your exams? Yes. Now, listen. It is a strategy. Hmm? To engage your brain by allowing emotions, negative emotions, override your logic and calculation. And do you know what that will do? When reasoning and logic hmm, is inhibited by emotions, failure is inevitable. And that is not what you want right now. Now, do you know how to deal with them? <laughs> Make sure that you've come out of these exams in flying colors. That way, you'll be pouring heap of coals on their head. Do you understand? Go into that exams and represent. Okay, Uncle.
Oh God. This exam my daughter is about to take. Lord, please. Let her pass it with flying colors. Please, God. This is a mother's request. Don't turn this paper. After when you start at the same time, just keep the paper on the first. Don't turn it over. Just keep that. Okay, now, today, turn the paper. The first thing we do is look at the instructions. Normally, we don't read for you. But the first thing we do is look at the instructions. The instruction says one hour. You have to be as fast as fast possible. Don't make any mistake. Have you written your names? Yes. yes. Your numbers? Yes. Your school? Yes. Your exam center? Yes. Okay. Don't copy from anybody. No cheating. Write what you do. Now we are writing English language. When it comes to mathematics, we are going to give you a rough sheet. Where you show all working. You are using doing your rough work. Don't cut it from anybody. Don't cancel. You are not writing. It was very, very I love same. them. Oh. Hey, I will die if they will be done by the beginning. Seriously. Yes, yes I'm very sweet. I like the exam. Don't you get it? We will know what somebody <laughs> Hey, these yeah. are people who are sweet as this is all. They will think it's very hard. They will tell me that stuff. I'm wondering what you wrote in your exams today. Let me guess. Maybe she wrote her name, her exam number. Ho oh, oh, ho, sorry, sir. Oh, wait. She was carried away by those kids playing birthday. Thank you. Hey. Well, sorry, but none of that happened. You copied the questions, right? Mm -hmm. But don't worry. I won't tell anybody. We won't tell anybody that you copied the questions from your exam booklets. I'm a. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There is time for everything. There's a time to play, and there's a time to get serious. My mother told me that before I left the school. If I have offended and misled you, please forgive me. Excuse me. Has she really changed? How will I know? Do we stay in the same house? Well, look at our sister too. Yeah. You're back. Yes, ma'am. How was it? It was fine, Mama. Are you sure? I was so worried about you. I didn't know what you were passing through. Eh? Mama, nothing to worry about. I did my best. Yeah. Oh yeah, go and remove your dress and come and eat. I made your favorite. Yes, ma'am. Apple and vegetable. <laughs> Only apple. She was asking me what I would give her if she passes her common exam. And I 
have a dog and well. I think you should ask your father. No, she's asking you what you give her. And she passes her common interests, right? Uh, tell her what to give to her. Now. She didn't ask you to ask me. What is wrong with asking you? Uh, but she didn't ask me. Papa, you can tell me now. I wonder. I can't tell you anything because I don't trust you will pass. I don't. One bit. Don't worry, Papa. I'll make you jump with excitement when you see my results. Hmm. Make me your father jump with excitement when I see your results. You've taken the exam. So how did it go? Well, fair enough. Not too tough to kill me and not too easy to score 100. Hmm. I'll pass, Papa. Hmm. Are you boasting? Bluffing or bragging? Well, pass your exam first. The common entrance exam and surprise me. Then whatever you say you want, that you'll get. Kill. Okay. You won't get better. She said she wants to attend one of the biggest schools in the world. As soon as her result comes out. That'd be a wonderful thing. Well, I don't want to make a promise because I don't trust your pass. But then pass and surprise me. Then see what I will do for you. <laughs> this one, she's so excited, I'm bluffing. Eh? She was not something that we don't know. Yeah. Well, problem. Let me not have a bad dream. Let me go and sleep well. Yeah. Of your season, so. I need you to go to school tomorrow. Hmm? Why? Your result is out. Really? Yes. I heard from a reliable source. What do you think? Will I pass? <laughs> well, that will be when you return from school tomorrow. Okay? It's okay, Uncle. You've just. <laughs> Okay, so okay, okay, okay. What is it? There is good news. So why are you shouting, Mama, Mama, Mama? Are you not there? Mama, you know my Mama. <laughs> what is it? What is the good news? My common interest result has come out. Really? I'm happy for you. I'm a little scared. Me too. I pray pass. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll pass. Okay? So when will you go and check? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Do I need to come with you? Don't bother yourself, Mama. I'll be back as soon as possible. I'm just going there to get my results. Okay. Ada's common entrance result is out. Hmm. Ada's common entrance result is out. Is she part of her? Well, she hasn't gone to check it. No. Um, Chibuza just told her this evening. So she'll be going there tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. The common entrance result is out. She has gone, gone to check it. She's checking it tomorrow and you're telling me today. What for? Uh, let the result come and see the result first. Then let us know if she kept to her words. She says she will surprise me. Is it not? I have the confidence that she will pass. 
<laughs> as well. It is all, all about confidence. You might have confidence and still fail. It is all about the effort you put into making the exam a success, which I know she did not. But even if she fails, I'll still be proud of her. Yes. <laughs> she, because she put in a lot of effort. And this is the first time in a long while that she on her own decided to go back to school without anyone forcing her to. That is something. I agree. Yeah. No problem. Even if she fails, I'm proud of her. Yes, I'll see. Over to both of you. I don't want to say best of the same feather, but let me just manage it. <laughs> Add it over to you. Naina Joboko. So you go, huh? Hmm? The Lord is with you. Amen. I am sure the result will make me come. Amen. It will, Mama. So I have to go. Okay. Just take care of it. It is okay. Why are you here? The same reason you are here. We are here because of we know we have passed. But you, you have already failed. Stop wasting your time here. Go home. Go home and go and rest because I'm sure you have already failed. Go home. Oh. But I That's thought we are friends. We are never friends. We are not and we will never be friends. But you came to me the other time to make peace. <laughs> We just did that to know your little secrets. Well, the put of you should know that. I came to carry my failure home, which was mine, not yours. So, excuse me. Excuse me. Look at this one. Yay! Don't worry. We will wait. We will see. I passed. I passed. Thank God. Father, she failed. I'm sure she failed. How do you know she failed? Didn't you see her face? She's sad. She doesn't look happy at all. She doesn't look like a person that passed. So I'm very sure she failed. Well, so pass. You have to come to school. Concentrate in class. Yes. Study at home. So pass. Your daughter is coming. See her face. <laughs> what happened? Why would you ask her what happened when you are seeing her face to know that she failed and you are asking her what happened? Does it make sense? Wait, Kwano. We have not seen the results. Say this is your result. Yes, Papa. They gave it to you. Yes. From the school. Uh, yes, uh, 
I just want to confirm if this result is genuine or if it's fake. Jerusa, it's her result. What did you say? And that shocked everyone in this school. I couldn't believe it. And that had the best results. It's her result, sir. Did you say this is Ada's result? Ada, you wrote this. Calm down. I told you that I'm going to pass. I have the highest score. You see, Ada, I am a very intelligent man. I have wisdom in me. Everybody confirms it. And I was like, why would God give me a girl that is not intelligent, that is not as wise as me? But now, now that confession has changed. And I know that my blood flows in you. Ha! Ah. Ada, give me a hug. Come, give me a hug. Papa, you hmm? buy me some school. I have anything to buy. I can't even buy you to school. You can not buy school. Make sure you buy something for her. Oh. Papa, what will you buy for me? Uh, I will give you vegetable soup with pepper. You can enjoy it. No. Huh? Fried rice and chicken. Uh, 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 I will give you pepper for us. Crayfish. Crayfish. <laughs> I'm so so proud of my daughter. I'm proud of the school. And I'm proud Thank of you too. Thank you, sir. Hey, my daughter. Oh, really try, okay? Continue, okay? You push me. Buy something for her. No, 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 no. I'm taking her out now. Come. Two for one, please. You see, life is upward and onward. <laughs> so, how did you manage to get to my level? <laughs> I doubted you. You mean, how was I able to step down to your level? Just hold up. I'll be right back. My little secrets. See, Ada, I must thank you very much because now I can complete my book on elementary mathematics. Hmm? I'm very sure that every child will understand. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. I wake up every morning from the wrong side of my bed. I step out to see everyone. Against me, oh yeah. And I realize I'm not who I should be. And I realize I run the room. 